The Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, has manufactured a new combat drone capable of bombing targets with pinpoint accuracy at long distances, the IRGC Aerospace Force commander announced. Dubbed Seekit, Lightning, the new aircraft is a Simurgh-class drone capable of carrying out combat missions with a long operational range, Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizada said at an exhibition of IRGC drone technologies, held in Tehran on Saturday. According to the commander, Sika can detonate four different targets with smart bombs with pinpoint accuracy and return to its base safely. Sika is the newest model of Simurgh class unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, a homegrown sophisticated aircraft made by reverse engineering of American Lockheed Martin RQ-170 which Iran could capture in its airspace in December 2011. Iran has now a broad range of UAVs which can be used for both civilian and military purposes. Back in August, the Army Ground Force unveiled a homegrown drone used for jamming and deception operations. In December the Ground Force for the first time utilized a type of suicide drone in a large-scale military exercise. Since using unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, in 1985 during the Iran-Iraq War, drones have increasingly become a pillar of Iran's force projection, conducting surveillance and offensive military strikes. Drone flights regularly monitor Persian Gulf shipping traffic, for example, and Iran has proven its ability to use drones with great accuracy and increasing ranges against both Saudi Arabia and targets in Iraq. Iran's provision of drone technology to proxies in Yemen, Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon give it plausible deniability on other strikes. <laughs> Nevertheless, Iranian military leaders often exaggerate their UAV capabilities, as in other areas. There is little evidence, for example, that Iran successfully reverse-engineered the RQ-170 it recovered inside Iran in December 2011. Nor is there evidence that Iranian drones were useful in the battle to liberate Ramadi from the Islamic State as Iranian authorities claimed. See, Iran, were Iranian drones useful in the battle for Ramadi? OE Watch, February 2016. Likewise, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, claims that it had extended its drone range to 1,865 miles. See, Iran, Revolutionary Guard brags of new range to UAVs, OE Watch, October 2015 appears more aspirational than real. So too, does the most current IRGC claim made in the accompanying excerpted article from the Defense Ministry's official news service that more than doubles the range attributable to Iranian drones. Importantly, the article, which was included later that same week in a DFA press list of the most important military and defense stories, did not include drone model names or other details. In contrast, Iranian officials say that they have limited their ballistic, and so it is curious that they would claim such an extended range for their UAVs. That said, even if the claim to a 4,350-mile drone is aspirational, as Iran invests heavily in such technology, it is likely only a matter of time before Iran develops a high-endurance, long-range UAV. Because of weight restrictions necessary for a solar-powered drone with such a range, it would likely serve a mainly surveillance role. Still, if Iran did develop a drone capable of flying 4,350 miles, it would extend Iran's surveillance range to all of Europe and from the Sea of Japan and just off the shores of Indonesia to all but the southern and western tips of Africa. The United States and Israel reportedly held talks earlier this month on cooperation against unmanned Iranian drones, with which the Islamic Republic is believed to be arming Shiite militias and terrorist organizations in the region. Iran recently unveiled a drone called Gaza, a clear reference to the recent 11-day conflict between Hamas and Israel. It is unclear if the 7,000 km range refers to the range of the new Gaza drone or another type. Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Commander Major Gen. Hossein Salami has confirmed that its new unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, could fly from Iran or via Yemen or Syria over Israel and back to its base. The Islamic Republic does not recognize Israel, and supporting the Palestinian cause has been a pillar of Iran's foreign policy since the country's 1979 revolution.
IRGC Aerospace Force Commander Gen. Amir Ali Hajizada is one of the key figures behind the drone and missile program. The IRGC Commander-in-Chief, who was enumerating the country's achievements in technology and science, and also developed the field of aerospace, said today we have wide-body drones that go back and forth 7,000 kilometers and land anywhere they want, Tasnam reported. The new Gaza drone is called the Shad 149 and is larger than the Shad 129, the report said.